what's up y'all welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel hey girl hey make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified when i upload a new video and if you're not already sis make sure you follow me on instagram and twitter at the hair life and the hair life official okay so i'm so excited for this video today i'm showing you guys exactly how i sew on my adjustable elastic bands if you are a wig wearer or a wig maker these bands you need them in your life i'm telling y'all right now these bands are lit um so yeah i'm gonna show you guys a comparison of older bands that i use in comparison to my new bands i'm gonna show y'all how lit they are my wigs come glueless you guys and i will show you exactly what i mean at the end i use these bands versus the other adjustable elastic bands like these however my pre-mates do come like this but for custom wigs i feel like the bands that i'm going to show you guys are better just because those bands that i just showed you only come with three adjustments okay so as you guys can see i have my measuring tape laid out with three bands so the band in the front are my old adjustable elastic bands and i just want to show you guys in comparison so this is what they look like when i stretch it out you can kind of see through them the material was not the best but they did still have really good functionality as far as being able to tighten and loosen them up um these bands did come in between 10 to around 11 inches so you guys can see that right there i'm just showing you now these are my new and improved bands and you guys can already tell the quality difference the actual material itself is thicker the bands are a little bit wider which are great for frontals and closures and you can still adjust these bands do not limit you to having one size for your band it gives you the ability to tighten and loosen your band up you have more room to customize i absolutely love these bands they do not snag your hair they do not pull your hair i'm telling you they get the job done They also do come in two parts, so I'm showing you guys right here. You can take them apart, which this comes in handy when you are putting your wig on your wig head at night and you don't want to stretch out your band. And it also comes in handy when you're sewing them on. So the new bands, you guys can see, they come uh, roughly 16 inches, around 15 to 16 inches. And they do come black, nude, beige color, and they come in brown. So I'm just showing you guys the beige as well. And they have the same exact functionality. I love these bands, you guys. So I'm going to show you what I do before I sew them on. I do wholesale these bands, you guys. So if you need these, please hit me up on Instagram at the Hair Life Official. Okay, so before I sew my bands on, I like to cut them according to my client's head measurements. And after you cut, you will sometimes get a little bit of fraying. So to help that, I like to take a lighter. I literally just run it across the edge. And don't worry, I'm going to show you guys this again. And I just take my finger and press it in. So as you guys can see right here, it's a little bit frayed. You just want to take your lighter, run it across the edge, burn that smash it in with your fingers to seal it in and then you will be ready to sew it onto your cap okay so right here i'm just showing you guys the inside of a custom wig made by me this is a five by five closure wig and like i said you guys if you need a wig made hit me up i got you sis quality only period so i'm showing y'all right here a lot of people like to attach their bands here however i just find it more effective to actually sew it to your cap so i'm just going to count three tracks up so we have three tracks and then i'm going to separate that fourth one and you guys see i have this space right here so when you're sewing you want to make sure that that top track is completely out of your way but um, i know it's happened to me before so i'm going to show you guys if you do catch hair how to remove that so all you're going to do is take your band line it up to your cap and then you're going to sew i like to sew it about about three to four times just to ensure that it's nice and secure and it's not going to go anywhere so if this is your first time watching my channel and you do not know about the open toe presser foot let me put you on game real quick if you have a sewing machine you need it and that's just that on that i will link it down below they are much easier to work with you can see everything you're sewing so i will link it down below for you so make sure you check the description box so this is what it looks like you guys can see it's nice and secure not going anywhere um so i'm just going to turn this around so as you guys can see like i got some of the hair in there so i'm going to show you all you need to do is take a rat tail comb literally slide it through there and you can pull the hair out so as you guys can see i'm just literally taking my finger pulling it out and it will be just fine i'm going to show you exactly what it looks like there we go all the hair is now out of there the band is still nice and secure so you're going to 
Now I move on to the right side or the left side, whichever one you like to sew on first. So I'm just going to take my band. You guys can see I'm counting three wefts up. So whatever you do on the right side, just do the same thing on the left side. So I did three wefts up this time. So I'm going to do three wefts up on the other side. I'm going to make sure that I just take the band, line it up and make sure that that hair is out of my way. And if you make sure the hair is out of the way, I'm going to show you guys this time I didn't catch any hair. So right here, I'm just showing you again that the bands can come apart and it might be easier for you to sew like if this is your first time sewing it on it could be easier for you to sew it while it is attached just make sure you don't sew it backwards and you're just going to place it up under your presser foot while the band is lined up to the actual band of your cap you want to make sure you sew and back stitch about three to four times to make sure it's secure and that is it like this literally will take you guys under two minutes to do super easy but um yeah these bands are heaven sent i'm telling you guys like your wigs will be so secure anybody who has wholesale for me anybody who has wigs for me like they will vouch and tell y'all like these bands are lit I'm showing you guys the functionality of the bands listen you do not have to worry about having a headache from your bands ever again i promise you you can tighten these up you can loosen them up you can do whatever you need to do to make it comfortable for your head and that is why i love these so much so i'm going to show you guys that my wigs are really glueless like when i say glueless People are like, well, do you still need got to be or no, these wigs are glueless. So this was an old band when I recorded this still same functionality, but just more improved now. But I'm going to put this wig on my head. I'm going to flip my head upside down and just show you all like they're literally glueless. They, they will not go anywhere. My custom wigs are lit. So if y'all need one, I got you. You know where to find me. Yes. Yeah, so I hope this video was helpful. Let me know if you guys try out this band placement or let me know where you put your bands at. Leave any video requests down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if this was helpful and I will catch y'all in my next video. Bye.